Hey guys, Moran Pobert here. I'm an investor, an entrepreneur, and I help people buy businesses and raise capital, even if they never ran a business before or have millions of dollars in their bank account. I've been in business over the last 10 years. I've done many deals myself. Uh, my most uh, famous one is buying an app company and turn it around so it, uh, the app became one of the top 100 apps in the app store in more than 100 countries. And over the last year or so, I also helped many entrepreneurs in the process of buying a business so I looked at deals in pretty much any industry you can think of. I looked at hundreds of deals, if not more. And when I do that, as my side thing, I help people. And I then give them access to not just my network and knowledge, but sometimes to my capital to help them do deals. And before we get started, and of course, if you want to learn more about that, stay in touch with me on all social media platforms. We are uploading different content on all of those platforms. Um, before we get started with today's topic, I want you to know that I have a mentorship program where I work with people very closely. I take just a few people a month and they get access to me 24-7 basically to help them go out there and buy more businesses. And that's basically a way for me to filter people who can potentially be in my inner circle and access to not just my, like I said, knowledge and, and capital that I have access to, but to network. And that's basically a network that you can use then for life with all of your deals. And potentially, obviously, I will partner with you passively or actively on deals. So if you want to learn more about that, see in the description uh, somewhere below the video. But um, yeah, let's let's get to today's topic. So today I want to talk about one of the biggest questions that people ask me is, uh, okay, they tell me, hey, Moran, I understand buying businesses is pretty awesome. You get access to revenues, profit, customers, employees, track record, brand recognition, and you basically skip the startup phase. But how do we do that? Where do you find those deals? Because it sounds like, based on what you said, Moran, you want people who actually want to sell their business, ideally. You don't want to go and talk to any business owner in the world because then you'll just waste too much time. So you want to find people who are ideally motivated sellers who have some reason to exit their business. And how do we find them? I mean, many people come to me with ideas. Heck, some of the guys and messages that I got, he asked me if he should put yellow signs on the road like they put in real estate, asking for people to, to basically sell their business to him. And you know what, I mean, that, that can work. I never tried it, but I want to share with you a lot of those details because if you use the wrong methods to find those businesses, you can waste a lot of time and you just, it's not worth it. You don't want to waste too much time if you can just waste like, literally tens of the time on focused strategies that are working right now in 2018 when I record this video. It's only the, the very few, few, short, few short months before 2019. But you want to work on strategies that work right now, especially in the technology space that we're at. I mean, heck, there's so many things that you can use in terms of the online world that it's just a shame if you're not doing them. I mean, yeah, in the past, if you talk to me 30 years ago, maybe when you people tried to do deals, and I know people who try to do that, they would go out there and they would knock door to door trying to buy businesses or they would cold call companies. And I mean, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong about that. And that can definitely work, but there are so much better and effective ways to do it nowadays, especially when you can outsource a lot of those tasks nowadays if they're online tasks. Because, and as part of my mentorship program, I show people literally how to outsource 99% of the deal flow origination methods that we're working with. We're working with 10, more than 10 ways to find motivated sellers and we're working with ways that are proven to work right now, like in 2018, things like social media. And I mean, I mean, heck, just think about something like LinkedIn. LinkedIn alone is a game changer in the space of anything in business because you can access so many of those business owners out there. And it's just a shame if you're not using something like that. There are many, many other ways like that. For me, LinkedIn is just social media. They're just one of those ways, right? But today, you know what? I'll explore actually something that is more old school because that will combine to you things that used to work in the past with things that are still working right now. And I want to share with you some of the lessons and something that you can take to, to I guess, your experience in going out there and trying to find those businesses that you can potentially buy and own. So what I'd like to expand on in this video is something really cool, which is sending physical letter, direct mail letters. And maybe it sounds old school as well, but I think it's kind of like the, the something that it's kind of like between old school and kind of like new age stuff. Uh, first of all, I don't know if you guys know, but you can outsource those letters as well. 
there are online companies where you can basically send them your letters and they will do the work. You don't need to go physically to the office, uh, to the post office, right, to send those letters nowadays. So that's cool. Um, but then in terms of what letters to send and part of my mentorship program, I share with you guys a script that is working for us. And when people are using that script, they're getting anywhere between 30 to 80% response rate. And I'm not talking response rate on if you're calling the owner and he'll answer the phone. I'm talking about you sending a letter and receiving between 30 to 80% phone calls back. Now, the reason that it works is because we're personalized personalizing those letters a lot because there's two two basically ways to do it one of them is you can send thousands of letters uh, but the very generic letter that is basically generic to everyone and everyone can say hey, you know what yeah it's kind of like talk, talking this guy is talking to me but it's like it's too generic and it looks like you're spamming them and the last thing you want to do is spam people because it's your name in the end of the day and you don't want to build yourself a dead name out there you just want to do, I mean, you want to add value, you want to buy their business and save their business and, and take care of their employees and heritage and brand. So you don't want to destroy your name. That's why when we send letters, they are very personalized. They are very, they're going in depth of talking directly to the business owner that we're sending the letter to. And we have a strategy to walk through the script and literally within a few minutes to create a very personalized letter based on a quick research that you can do around on that business owner and when you send those letters the responses are just amazing and that's why you don't need to send thousands of letters you can send just a few of them to the right companies when you research them well and you filter them through the process of understanding if they're motivated or not and like i said when you know how to find those business owners i mean that's the key here in deal making work in buying businesses the two most important skills you need to have is finding deals and getting access to capital or understanding what type of deals you can do without capital or with using other people's money with capital. When you have those two skill set, the sky's the limit and you can build yourself a portfolio or just one by one good business and have a great lifestyle. It's up to you, uh, but it works. And like I said, if you're using it and you know what you use in your letters and you're personalizing them, we're getting anywhere between 30 to 80% response rate and that stuff works. So if you want to learn more about that and really want to get into in depth into this space of buying businesses. Like I said, I mentor a few people every month. I work with them closely to help them buy businesses through using other people's money and raising capital. And I help people who never ran businesses before and don't have millions of dollars in the bank account. You don't need that. And it's definitely doable because we're using not just OPM, other people's money, but other people's time and resources and skills because we're going into existing established businesses with assets, with brand, with all that stuff. So if you want to learn more about that, see in the description below. In my mentorship program, it's not just about giving you the script. It's giving you 10 plus ways to find those business owners. It's giving you access to all the legal work, all the paperwork, things that cost me thousands of dollars and more thousands of dollars to reiterate stuff and edit contracts and offer letters and all those different templates that you need in order to do those deals. And that's obviously part of the people I work with closely because, like I said, this is my side thing. I want to help people want to give back because I know how difficult that is. I paid, I paid multiple six figures to different mentors to learn about this space and I want to share back and give back because I know how difficult it was for me when I just started in this space. And yes, I know that with some of you, I'll do deals in the future as well and that will be amazing for me as well on the back end and we can all get some equity in multiple transactions and build our wealth together. So yeah, see the links in the description uh, somewhere below the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'd love to for you to stay in touch with me i want to hear back i want to like this those videos are for you guys so yeah just let me know what you like what you hate and i'll, I'll see you soon